So we're going to look at a step function here and plugging in some values. And I'm going to label these steps. The first step is when x is negative, x is less than 0, and I'll just call this step 1. And then the other step we'll call step 2. Now it's important to know what step you're going to be plugging in here. So our first one right here, f of negative 1, this means x is negative 1 and we know negative 1 is less than 0 here. So we're going to be plugging this value into the first step because x is negative. So it's 7 times negative 1 minus 4 and then you can calculate that out. Uh, so that's the first one and that answer will go right here. So now we're going to go to the second one so here we have 0, f of 0. So x is 0 here. 0 is a little bit tricky because it's kind of in between, but it's not actually in between. If we look closely, x equals 0, where is that going to happen? It's actually happening in step 2 because we have the, it's really that right there that does it. It's the greater than or equal to 0. So we're going to be plugging in this to step 2, and this gives us 7 times 0 minus 8, and then we'll do the last f of positive 2. Now positive 2 should be a little more clear because it's definitely greater than or equal to 0. So f of positive 2 is going to be plugged into step 2.